Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are working on this acoustic guitar kit again. Um, we haven't glued the neck in yet. I've just got it kind of set in there. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to check, make sure this tape's in the right place, get the scale length all sorted out, and basically just make sure that the neck is properly positioned. So that includes how far away it is and the angle. I'm going to get the pocket here cleaned up a little bit because this doesn't press quite all the way down right now. So we're going to do that and get this thing ready to glue up. That's today's video. Let's get after it. All right, first things first, we're using a couple upgrade parts on this one. So we've got our Solo Pro Martin Style Acoustic Guitar Bridge. This is ebony, it's beautiful. Uh, and that is what we're gonna be using here. Now I have the Tusk um, saddle here that we can put in if we want to, and we're going to to get the angle. But first things first, let's figure out the scale length. Let's make sure that that is correct. Oh, that is pretty. All right. So if I put this right on the tape, right where I anticipate gluing it, is my scale length correct? I actually don't know what the scale length on this guitar is. So let's start by finding that out. We know our nut's going to come to here, so we can measure from there to the 12th fret. And that is 12 and 3 quarters dead on which is nice, that's noth nothing wrong with that. So now we know what our scale length is, we just have to double that. Everybody hopefully is aware of that. So we've got a 25 and a half inch scale on this. And then if we move down here, if I measure from my 12th fret to where my bridge is, okay, uh, we're looking a little bit, just a little bit long. So remember, that distance should be the same. And now if I check the full thing to make sure that I'm not nuts, yeah, we're a little long and that's fine. So that was with the bridge kind of sitting right up against the back there. So all I, all I really have to do is push it forward a little, make sure I'm still on that taped area. Again, the tape on these things is usually pretty accurate. And I check again from my 12th. There we go. That's a little better. That can actually come forward just ever so slightly more. So I'm gonna be slightly in front of the tape, but that's fine. And now I know for when I go to clean that up. Okay, perfect. So we know the neck's basically in the right place. What I might do actually to avoid having to move the bridge forward is just shave a little bit off of here. And that will sort that out. That's all good. Uh, in fact, that's, that's how I'm going to approach it. I'm gonna take a little bit off of that. And now we need to do the height. We need to make sure that our neck is at the correct angle. So let's get our saddle in place. So this is the Tusk saddle. It's not the one that came with the kit. It is an upgrade part. We're gonna have a little adjustment required to make this guy fit, I think. All right, I'm gonna need to just sand a touch off of the sides of this or file a touch off the sides of this to get this guy to sit in there correctly. So let's do that next. Okay, so I would like to get this cleaned up pretty evenly. So I'm gonna use this contraption that I've got here. I've got the single cut side of my file here and this is what I use for sharpening scrapers and stuff. I use this to get a nice flat edge when I need it. So I'm just gonna run this along here. A few times in each direction. I don't need to take much off. There's kind of a little burr along the edge that needs to be removed. So I'll make sure I'm getting that on both sides. And then we'll try it again on the bridge. If I need to take more off the edges here, the rounds, I will do that with a hand file, but for the, for the moment, I'm just using this one because it's here and easy to access. I'm trying to put the pressure near the bottom of the piece because that's where I want to take off the material, but I am trying to get it even across the whole face, as you can see, hence me using this contraption. And I think I will probably have to reduce the height of this as well. But once we check the neck angle, we can figure that out. Okay, so we've got that fit now. That's fine. Now we need to put in our nut or put our nut on there and make sure that this angle makes sense because we don't want to be in a situation where the strings are way off the fretboard, obviously. We want to have decent action. So this is going to be almost certainly too high. That sounds good already. And we don't want the opposite where the neck is too angled and now the strings are contacting these frets. 
So let's get the nut going. I'm sure this comes as no surprise, but we're using a tusk nut as well. As usual, all of this is available from Solo Music Gear. They supplied me with the upgrade parts. Okay, we'll have to take a little off each side on that. The height on that actually looks good already. Um, let's see here, what have I done with my chunk of pencil? So if I take my destroyed half carpenter's pencil here and do the usual, just run it across. Yeah, that's fine. Looks good to me. So. We don't have to worry about that. That's nice not to have to take a whole bunch off the nut. We will take a little bit off the sides because it's overhanging ever so slightly, but for the height, we're good. So now we can check our angle. Yep. We're gonna need to take, take a little something off the bottom of that saddle or the action on this thing is going to be comically high. So let's do that next. So for this, rather than playing with the file, I've got some 220 grit paper on my solo fret leveling beam. So obviously from solo guitars as usual, and I'm just gonna hold it straight and sand it on here because it'll be faster than trying to push it in one direction across the file all the time. One thing you need to be cognizant of is that you're holding this either in the center or with even pressure across it. You don't want to end up with a big angle on it, right? Like that's something that we have to adjust at the end perhaps, but for now we're trying to take some off. There's actually quite a bit to remove here, so I'm just going to go for it. And this is going to be mostly a matter of just doing this for a bit, checking, doing it again, checking. And as, as I get closer to finished height, I need to check more often and remove less every time. And give the edges a quick little, so I, a quick little uh, skiff on this thing so I make sure that I don't have a burr built up that's gonna make it hard for me to put this back in the bridge. Toss her back in here. That's starting to look a little bit more reasonable in terms of height. And now if we check our angle again, bring this back into what I'll call camera range here. It's closer, still too high, but closer. When I do this, I'm putting this ruler right into the fret slot on the nut and then running it over. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna keep doing that for a bit and we'll get this thing set so that our action is reasonable. And right after I say that, we have a slight but immediate change of plans. So I've decided I'm gonna do this work on the neck first to make sure that uh, everything is as it should be because I want to make sure that if there are any changes to the neck angle as a result of me doing this that those get taken into account as part of my work on the nut. So um, first things first I guess let's get this part sort of sorted out. I'm going in with uh, my chisels, my Hosco chisels which I got from Solo Music Gear and my carving tools also from Solo Music Gear. Really cool little set here, extremely sharp uh, I'm lucky I haven't lost any fingers or anything, so if you're going to be using something like this, make sure that you are careful. Uh, cut towards your chum, not your thumb, as they say, all that fun stuff. Don't, uh, basically, don't stick yourself with the pointy end, okay? So I'm using this to just clean up the edges and make it so that this neck is going to slide in ever so slightly further. I want to clean up any filler and, and nonsense that's on there to make sure that the gluing is going to work well and make sure that that edge is, is nice and straight so it's going to sit in here properly. So I do that for a while, actually, and uh, and then I realize that the neck needs to sit down a little lower, and I think that this thing is what's stopping it from doing so. So I have my uh, solo 
bar there like you've seen and I'm going to do a little sanding with that go in with the file a little bit and just generally get this cleaned up and prepared I mean there's no there's no magic to it I don't think uh, you guys will benefit much from a prolonged description except for me to say that these uh, these bladed tools that I got from Solo are extremely helpful and I, I found them very useful for this process they give me a nice clean edge to work with and that's going to be important so I'm, I'm doing that same kind of cleanup work on the guitar now making sure that all of the filler and stuff anything that got in there is gone remember I did an epoxy fill on the top so I want to make sure that there's none of that in the way and then I get my neck fit again and, and it looks good basically so now I can move back to what I was doing before which is making sure that the nut is at a reasonable height and there's not a whole lot to that except taking some more off the bottom of the nut and then here you can see me using a long sanding block to just take a very very little bit off the bottom of the bridge itself the bridge is a little thicker than it maybe needs to be and I didn't want to take too too much off of the nut so I took maybe maybe a millimeter off the bottom of the bridge and then it's all ready to go so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up I would appreciate it remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see the rest of this build and I will see you next time when we get to work on well the next stage a couple more things to do with the neck and then uh, the sealer and we'll get going on some finishing so thanks again hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time